Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. How's it going today, everyone? I'm currently working on things and stuff. Uh, I made my five display stands, which were easy enough, just made my aesthetic quartz and stuff, advanced coils, all easy peasy. Didn't think you guys needed to see that. However, now I'm working on some advanced machine casings uh, so that I can get the last parts. And this should open up the next stage for me, which is cool. Um, so we want you, you, no, we want you, you, nice. Uh, so that's one, and I just need this last steel plate and we should be good for the next one. Sweet, you're compressing air again, good. So advanced machine casing, check, cool. Uh, so now all I need here is some black quartz and iron. Eight of them to be exact. Nice. So you, 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 and you, and then you, you, you. Empower trophy, age three. What's up? Boom. I need a trophy room. Totally need a trophy room. Totally need a trophy room. That would be cool to have. But hey, we just opened up age three. Dun, 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 dun. How cool is that? That is awesome. I like it. Hey, look, a lot of the things that we figured out last episode are all in this chapter of the book that I haven't read yet. I'm gonna go read it real quick, off camera. Let me tell you guys how much I love building with the Builder's Wand. It is the greatest. Super duper the greatest. So, you're gonna be good there, and then we'll do that and then maybe that I always forget like what spacing I do with these but that 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 should be cool just one extra bit of that'll be good how am I for glass at the moment if I don't have enough I don't think I have enough unless it's somewhere else hiding probably not enough yeah we'll make a whole stack of glass why not because it's fast Love it. So yeah, uh, between last episode and this one, I went to the nether, got a bunch of quartz, as you can tell, because I made a bunch of aesthetic quartz, um, and just worked on a few other things that I'm in preparation to show you guys today. So we got the Empower, which is awesome. That tells me that we are now at a point where... How did you wind up in here? I don't even know. Uh, empower, Empower, Empower. That is cool. Where's my chisel, by the way? Can I put it in one of these? places or is it in my inventory i don't know where my chisel is how am i totally not seeing my chisel anywhere did i break it am i broken it thought i knew where my chisel was there it is cool so you into this stuff that's the stuff i like for roofs yeah i guess we'll just do it from the floor here So, empower room time. I think my empower is going to live in this room. And I'll get around to making this place look a little bit nicer at some point. Or at least I'm going to try to. Um, so let's relocate a few things. You, I'm going to pick up and move. I'm going to set this up very similar to the way I set it up in my Let's Play series, only because it worked so well. Um, so, you know, we could set up like a little glass chamber here um, that for now doesn't necessarily need to be glass. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I hit the button here, it'll work, right? Nice, that works. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, so that's good. And then let's imagine that we're going to have, you know, eventually I'll have some kind of automation system set up, right? Where it's like a chamber like that. And then we're going to want, I mean, if I really wanted to be efficient about it, it would be like that, right? That's how I did it? I think so. And then um, the empower setup needs to be as so. We need and empower in the center, and then there's two block spacing. I forget if it's two blocks in between. I'm pretty sure that's right. That looks right to me. And then each of these needs um, power. So what I'd like to have is more LV wire connectors. So I was gonna just need some more of Estonia crystal. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. And we're also gonna need some clay cooked up into blocks. You behave yourself. To do more clay, and then also some copper. 
So you cook. That's why we need the, this thing made. This will eventually be automated once we get to a point where we can automate things. I'm not sure that we're there though. Apparently we have integrated dynamics available to us now. Uh, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know that mod at all. Like I don't even know what it's capable of doing. So yeah, I wouldn't get my hopes up about me using that right now, but this should be a nice way. And then we're gonna need DLV coils. So what I'm gonna do is probably stick this guy you know, if I moved him back one, he'd be like nice and centered under this point. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Also, we're gonna want lighting in this room, aren't we? Totally. Let's do that, 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 and that. Cool. Okay. Is that good enough? Close. Works for me, for now. All right, let's relocate this guy. And then that looks good, two, 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 and two. And then we've got this guy. And I'm just gonna, for now, hook these up. Normally I would run power under the floor or something, but that's not gonna work here, obviously, because I need to do it with this stuff. So this will look as good as it can. Sweet. That looks pretty good. Now this is gonna use up a lot of my internal power storage. We cannot attach this wire here, that's right. Uh, I can do that though. So maybe actually we connect this guy to here. What are the chances that you could go from here? Still obstructed? Killing me. Still obstructed. Is it a vertical thing? Wow. What is obstructing? Is it this one? All right, back in a second when I figure out which block I need to break. Got it working. Nice. I wound up actually moving the connector, <laughs> but it's good now. Uh, so you guys are gonna slowly but surely fill up your internal batteries. Uh, this thing's gonna slowly but surely drain its internal battery, but that's fine. Everything's working the way it should be. Everybody's getting power, which now means we are available for uh, doing what we wanna do, which is empowering stuff. Uh, so according to the book, uh, the guidebook, now that we're in the farming age, I can make IC2 advanced circuits which enables you to make advanced tools and machines like the mining laser and the thermal centrifuge, which combined with the ore washing plant gives you a much higher output from your ores. Ores really aren't my problem right now, to be honest with you. Um, also, you can make an algorithm separator from calculators, so you can make a lot more machines like advanced greenhouse and starch extractor, which generates power from fuel and wheat. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, guys, so taking a look at some things, it looks like, ooh, machine chassis triggers age five. Well, that's cool. Uh, I might be able to get to that, the ender age. That's totally within reach right now because that requires a carpenter with seed oil. Okay, that's not terrible. Seed oil can be made in a squeezer or a squeezer. There's two squeezers. Uh, the forestry one I'm assuming is one I need to use because this is from integrated dynamics. Oh, that, that's within range right now, right? Yeah, it's just wood and iron. So that squeezer is totally doable. Uh, the other squeezer requires a sturdy casing, which triggers age four. And pickup to trigger requires two million RF to make. Yep, 10 ingots. Okay. 
Interesting. So we're really at a pretty decent technological age. We should be able to unlock ages four and five pretty quickly. Um, all we really need here after that is another iron casing, which we've been making a bunch of, and some iron bars and a basic capacitor. The basic capacitor, though, eh, starts to get a little hokey because, well, empowered redstone new crystals, which require, all right, standard recipe, except it needs ardite and red garnets. Good to know. <laughs> wow. These things are getting really expensive looking. Never mind. We might buy them. <laughs> May not be as close as we think. I'm assuming that we need this, not this. And a redstone ingot from calculator. That's reasonable, right? Thickened glass from extra utilities. I'm assuming that only the recipes are using redstone ingots is correct. Yes. Okay. Cool. Algorithm separator is needed for that. And uh, or a scientific calculator that can divide iron and redstone equals a redstone ingot. Well, we have a scientific calculator, so we're cool. Um, though an algorithm separator was mentioned somewhere in this chapter, wasn't it? I read a lot of this. So not as close as I thought. It's funny, like, I, I always look at these recipes and I'm like, that doesn't look so bad. And then you get to one item and you're like, oh, wait, <laughs> thermionic fabricator. Right. So let's get a couple things. So we're totally going to need some bronze casings, right, in order to get this. So we, we, we need the sturdy casing. Um, we're, we're gonna need a thermionic fabricator, right? Um, we could probably get the seed oil squeezer. So let's look at seed oil real quick. I just want to see what amounts we get. So if I were to squeeze, so you only look like you can squeeze three things, cherries, walnuts, and chestnuts. This squeezer, I believe can squeeze like all the different seeds we have. Cool. And we get 10 millibuckets. So we're going to want the forestry squeezer anyway. We get better from walnut, which is a forestry tree breeding thing but everything else we're kind of cool with. So I think we can go that route. So squeezer from there, um, from, from forestry, we're definitely gonna want. Um, I should probably take notes again on what I wanna make. Squeezer from forestry. And we're also gonna want the thermionic fabricator. Cool. All right, so with those things in mind, let's get working towards, I. I Guess it doesn't matter what order I do them in. And I don't know that this thing said there was a particular route to go either. We can also make advanced circuits, by the way, um, which are empowered stuff. Rather, rather expensive-ish. But that unlocks some cool things. It unlocks the diamond drill, which is neat. Ah, uh, that's cool. That's from Tech Reborn, apparently. Okay, so that's different from the drill. Okay, neat stuff. Lots of things we can unlock with advanced circuits. Good to know. Let's get started though. Squeezer. Let's just get to work, right? So that's easy except for the sturdy case. We're gonna need bronze gears. We're gonna need bronze plates. Bronze plates are easy. Bronze item casing is easy. Bronze large plate, that's easy because that's Tinker's construct, right? Gears, eh. So here's the deal, right? For bronze, process steel mechanical components so it requires steel. The other option for bronze gear, and I looked into this, just between the last cut and this one, uh, that only needs four bronze. And you're, so you're probably saying, hey Dyer, why don't you go ahead and make a metal press? Well, there's a problem. And that's why I have this book on my hotbar. The metal press requires a heavy engineering block. And a heavy engineering block requires solarium. Wah, wah, wah. So that's a bummer. Solarium can only be made in the alloy smeltery, uh, which we don't have access to yet because it requires the Ender Age. Uh, the Arc Furnace, which requires heavy engineering blocks to begin with, and then the Alloy Furnace from Tech Reborn, which apparently we don't have access to either yet. You can get molten solarium, but the only way you can get that is by melting solarium blocks that you already have. There's no you know, combining soul sand and gold in the thing. So let's get to actual, actual work. Uh, so we're gonna want a bunch of bronze, probably. So let's get some going. So let's get that should be cool. Uh, I'm gonna go. It is nighttime out, but I can at least go throw these in here, right? That'll do. And get that cooking. And while we're at it, we're going to want to get four of you. So we're gonna want our squeezer. Needs you, needs you, needs you. All right, so this, 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 and this. Cool. Um, do I have something that can make bronze yet that's not ye this thing? I don't think that's the case. All right, so we're getting lots of bronze here. 
Let's get our, um, little did I know we would need plate cast molds at some point. It's kind of cool, though. What I should do is replace most of these, not all of them, but most of them. Since we're no longer smelting in there, can I like, no, I was kind of hoping that would be cool. Can you be used for anything? No, I'm just casting stuff. That's a bummer. Uh, I was thinking I should get like a bunch of ingot casts, but eh, we'll see. Because at this point, I think the only way I can get bronze is what I've been doing. Short of macerating um, copper and bronze and combining the dusts. But I don't want to do that either, to be honest with you. So I guess we'll just get our ingot cast. I'll be back in a second after I've gotten all this bronze out of here in ingot form. There we go. So now we can get our bronze gear. So that's good, that's good. And then we just need um, a plate and two item casings. So two of you into there. I hear you zombies. One of you can turn into an item casing. Or two. So that's not a terrible recipe. I guess the biggest part of this recipe is the, um, the expensiveness of the RF. So bronze plate in the middle. And then you, you, and you all around the sides. So this, 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 and that. And that should start running. Neat. But that's going to take, you guessed it, 2 million RF. <whistles> that's a lot of RF. We have it. We totally have it. Um, and it looks like it's actually really fast, too, at the, the rate at which it transfers. Um, totally, totally have the power. Not a big deal. But yeah, good to know. And that'll get us a squeezer. And then we can also get a thermionic fabricator, which requires another one of those sturdy casings. So that might be a little bit harder to pill to swallow, but we'll get there. So we close to having the RF stored in there. We're probably gonna want MV cabling soon. What would be involved in getting MV cables on these dudes? So MV wire connectors just use the existing LVs. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. We just need more clay and iron, right? Relays, straight up easy. Wires, Electrum. We can do Electrum at this point, because we can get Electrum um, from that guy, right? I'm assuming that I can get Electrum plates. Is there an IC2 version of Electrum plate? Maybe. Maybe we can't yet. We'll have to test it. We'll have to get Electrum. Let's do that real quick. I'm wondering if I can rolling machine Electrum. Not 100% sure. Gonna find out. What's up, zombie? How's it going? I'll be with you in a second, sir. All right, now you can die. Thanks. So we'll try throwing that in a metal press in a moment here. And if I can roll that, then cool. All right. Uh, so we've got our first sturdy casing. Let's uh, throw two more in there. I think I'm gonna want more bronze. So I think I'm gonna want another one. Right. So. Hey, no sneaking up on me now. Cool. Electrum, one. See why I kind of want to have more casting tables? Two. Almost done with bronze. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go see if we can throw this. Oh, by the way, you have to drop it and pick it up to trigger the age. It says that in the guide. So can you rolling machine? You can, apparently. That's cool to know. So I can totally get MV wiring. It's kind of neat. It'll just help me maintain the power that I need in those things. Cool. So that's the electron plate. It's not in here as a recipe, but it works. So that works for me. Cool. So we just triggered the next age, which is another totally need a trophy room. Totally need a trophy room. So we could absolutely get some MV connectors, but I probably need more clay before I can really do that, so I'm gonna hold off. You should be good now for bronze, right? Hey, what are you doing up there? It's a silly place to be, Mr. Skeleton. How are you not being hit right now? <laughs> Combat update, I'll tell you.
Cool. So I'm going to try and get another sturdy casing, and then we'll get the squeezer and this dude going at the same time, which I think would be cool. Right? So bronze, we're at seven ingots. We're going to get a bunch blockwise. So there's a block. Boom. And there we go. Done and done. Nice. Far more bronze. So we'll get another sturdy casing. Feels like age four just came like right away, doesn't it? Are you done getting rolled? Yeah, you're good. So over here we will do sturdy casing, which needs the bronze gear for now this. Um, and then this is usable to make the bronze gear, this and that, and that's cool. And then one of these with the hammer makes that cool. And that should be all we need. It doesn't take long, just needs lots of RF, which isn't the end of the world. We can get into more RF production now too. We can get into canola, uh, we can get into uh, some more solar panels. There's lots of RF stuff that opened up as a result of us hitting ages, I guess, what is this? Four and three and four, right? The two ages that we just unlocked. Uh, so that's cool. Nice dudes. Very nice. So that's two sturdy casings, which we totally now can make squeezers and thermionic fabricators with. So let's do that, because I'm gonna wanna start squeezing seed oil, right? So that's just tin and some glass. Might even or dictionary with all types, right? One squeezer, please. I don't wanna accidentally make two. That would be bad times. And then thermionic fabricator needs four gold and a chest. And we're good. Nice, dudes. All right, so let's put our squeezer here and you there. Um, we're gonna want another relay. Uh, I'm thinking just like a bunch of machines over in this general area, right? Uh, we're gonna want more wiring. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just do copper wiring because we're okay. But soon I'm probably gonna wanna switch over to at least MV with Electrum. Uh, do I want to do that now? I mean, do we really want to start doing all these machines with... Yeah, I might. I might. I'm not going to be even able to run this wire to that anyway. Which is a little annoying. Yeah, let's switch it up to MV. Debating it. I don't feel like I need to do it right now. I decided not to. Let's just get the metal former rolling for that stuff. Um, and we'll get these guys ready to go. And I'll probably need a little bit more clay. Cool. So we're gonna need a couple of Restonia crystals and some copper, I should have that. So we should be good already. Nice. Silver can go away. You might be ready with the wiring that I need. Four of them, close enough. Just needs a stick. Okay. So what I'll probably have to do is run these guys like so. I don't know if I need that thing anymore, but might as well hook it up while it's there, right? Um, now for you, unfortunately, I think what I need to do is this, which I don't love. And then we're going to need more of that wiring. Perfect timing. View to here. Nice, and you guys should be getting power now. Beautiful. Now I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, probably shouldn't have broken all those, but that's okay, it'll be easy to reconnect. I don't think you lose RF if you're not running. Same for you. Now if you have glass in there, like 
All right, so you don't take non-vanilla glass. You can take sander glass, but it doesn't look like it's wasting RF right now. Let's try putting a piece of glass in there and see what happens. Because I want to make sure we're not wasting RF if we don't need to. Um, in previous versions of Minecraft, um, those things would be notorious for wasting RF when they're not even running. Right, and the thermionic fabricator kind of makes sense because it has to melt down uh, glass. Clear glass from environmental tech. Really? You require clear glass? Enriched sand, which is sand and quartz. Cool story, bro. Let's just do one of these for now. So you plus you. Enrich sand, we can smelt this up quickly. Zoinks. Guess that explains why the ore dictionary thing wasn't working. And let's see what happens when you are sitting in there now. Cool. So you're going to heat up. Interesting. Probably because there's no recipe in there. Alright. Well, that's a thing. So if I want a basic... Capacitor. I need copper and redstone ingots and two thickened glass, which is two sand and two glass, as I recall. Cool. So you. You might work. Nice. You can smelt. And then we're going to need that redstone ingot thing from our scientific calculator, right? Where's my food? I had steak around here somewhere. Must have thrown it into some kind of chest when I wasn't looking. Or it's in my inventory and I'm just blind. That wouldn't be the first time. Seriously, I know I had steak around here somewhere. Where is it? I had like a lot of steak. Now I'm starting to get worried. Why am I not seeing you? I'll tell you, it's a good thing I record everything I do half the time in this game, <laughs> because I randomly misplace things. Silly direwolf. Hey, I got food. What was I working on again? What were we talking about? Oh, right. Uh, you, with clear glass. So we were going to grab our scientific calculator. Y no. Yes. Um, and we wanted to get... So if we wanted to get a basic... Capacitor, right? Uh, we need five copper. We got our thickened glass. Then we just need U, which is iron divided by redstone. So two iron divided by two redstone. Nice. So that's that, that's that. And then we have those five. So let's just check this guy out, right? So. Was it this? Uh, no. All right, sandy glass needed to be smelted. Nice. Cool. Missing liquid resource. So you're draining RF. I just want to see what happens with RF down here. Right? So almost there. Cool. And it crafted it. And now it's maintaining the RF to keep this thing liquid. That's fair. Um, so we could do some kind of automation with a redstone signal, right? Uh, that would say, hey, if you don't have enough stuff, not to drain power. But for now, I just wanted to see how that would work out. No big deal, really. Right. This, and then this, this. Now, when you cool, it's going to lose all its liquid glass. So that's cool. And now you should no longer be using power, right? Ah, he is, actually. So even though there's no glass in there, because he has a valid recipe, he's still using power. So we're totally going to want to give this thing a redstone signal. Right? So... You and you. Cool. 
Now, are you getting a redstone signal? Disabled by redstone. Of course you are. Not disabled by redstone. Yes, disabled by redstone. Which means you should no longer be draining power. Good. Power's no longer running. Cool. At, we are at the stage where I need to care about this kind of stuff. We really are. Uh, my power situation is not super comfortable. Like, that is good. The cost of things is bad. In fact, oh right, I have to reconnect you. I was like, why aren't you filling? Okay, now I know. Cool. And now you're going to drain. Perfect. All right, so, hey, that's cool. We got copper electron tubes. Nice. Which we can use to make basic capacitors. We already have enriched gold ingots. Now all we need is empowered Estonia crystals, which I think we totally have the stuff to make. Um, now that I know that we need red garnets for a lot of things, I'll pay a lot more attention when I'm downstairs. I've been kind of ignoring those a little bit, I'm not afraid to say. Uh, but we have a few, so that's good. All right, guys. So I feel like this is a good wrapping up point for the episode. So we got these things, right? The next age that we want to access, right? Not that I'm like going to skip a lot in the farming age, but being able to access the ender age sooner than later will definitely open up a lot more options for us in terms of resources and, and the ability to do stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then the automation age is six, uh, which means we can make RF tools machines. Uh, the Builder Quarry, Player Teleportation, Energy Teleportation. There's a lot of stuff we can access in the 6 as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, but opening up the Ender Age gives us access to Ender I.O. machines, which seems like a pretty good time. Um, we're going to need a Carpenter, uh, which will be another sturdy casing, right? Uh, in order to make the basic machine chassis. Yeah, Carpenter. With seed oil. So I guess one of the things I should really start doing is taking a look at my seed chest. What do we have a ton of? Uh, we're pretty good on rice seeds. Uh, I'm insane. Can rice seeds make seed oil? We're going to find out. Oh, seed. Whoa, what is this thing? Empty socket. Oh, cool. It works. So that's exciting. Nice. That works all the way. Cool. So, hey, we're getting seed oil. Hooray which we can probably make a tank and dump into. Um, so that wouldn't be a problem. Cool. Wrapping up point for the episode. Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.